Hey guys, how you doing? It's your boy D-Dubs. We're out here in sunny South London to check out the Radiate Windrush Festival. Now listen, all I want to do is soak up these vibes, check out this music and eat some of this traditional food. Come take a walk with me. What does an event like this mean to you? It's a wonderful opportunity for us to, the whole community to be together, the different aspects of our culture, celebrating our history and our triumph and our victory and our unification of Windrush. You can never stop learning of people's stories, the things they went through. It's bringing the community together, having fun, drinking up, eating, creating. Just great music, great food. I like seeing the unity, seeing all ages all come together and really just appreciate the culture and respect it and I love that. You play Patrick in EastEnders, which we all know, and what does a festival like this mean to you? Well, first of all, for me personally, it's an opportunity to come and mix, you know, with the locals and be part of a community that I enjoy being part of. So really, that itself means a lot to me. We've had a lot of people, we've had a lot of interest at the stand behind us, especially the police car and the lights and everything like that for the young ones. It's just nice being in a space like this amongst my own community and just enjoying the vibes. If you had one bit of advice to give to the young generation, what advice would you give them? Keep your culture going. You've lost everything if you lose your culture. Put it that way. <laughs> I've come down to support the community, to support everyone. I'm representing Trinidad and Tobago. Tell me. You know, I just coming out here having a great time, you know what I mean? I just performed at the Radiate Festival. I really enjoy the vibe of the people, like the energy is very vibrant. I've actually gone to check out the car club. I took lots of pictures next to the cars. Because, awesome. <laughs> you know, that's what Jamaicans do. Ian, how did you get your hands on that car? And hold on, what kind of car is that? I've never seen it before. Right, it's a Triumph TR6. 150 brake horsepower, fuel injected. And I come across that one in the end and I picked it. I've managed to capture some of this carnival vibe over here. Where are you from? I am St. Lucian, right here, and Jamaican. I don't have my Jamaican tattoo yet, but it's coming. So I'm going to test your general knowledge, right? Yeah. Now, Jamaica became independent in what year? 2003, 1992, or 1962? 62. <laughs> Absolutely right. 62, 62, 62, 62. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. But one of the Caribbean islands was named after a woman. Was it St. Lucia, Dominica, Antigua, or Grenada? <laughs> yeah, you've got me. St. Lucia. You're absolutely right. One thing I love about the Caribbean are the dance moves. I just say it's all about the wine, innit? It's all about the. It's all about the. It's <laughs> Borga. Come on, honey, come on. Butterfly and Bogle. Yeah. That, those are mine back in the day. Guys, what can I say? The Radiate Windrush Festival has been amazing. We've had nothing but sun, positive vibes, good music, and listen to that music in the background. What? And I gotta leave that? Listen, it is what it is. It's been amazing. But make sure you guys join us here next year for another great one. I'll see you guys soon. Peace!